Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Marcus and today in this tutorial I'm going to share with you how to design this topography poster in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go. First thing, let's set up our document. We are going to use a 1700 by 2400 pixels in RGB mode and just press create. Perfect. Next, let's select our type tool. Click on a hardboard so our lorem ipsum appears and let's increase the size to 250 and change the lorem ipsum to a more exciting word. Cool. Now let's go to the character and change it to all caps and change the font to something more interesting. For safety reasons, I'm going to use Helvetica. Then with our word selected, let's right click and choose to create outlines. Nice. Now let's go to effects, distort and transform and select the transform effect. Here we will change the number of copies to four. And on the moving vertical option, we are going to use a value that keeps our letters together, but not too close to each other. When you're happy with the result, just press OK. Then go to Object and select Expand Appearance. So all the letters are fully editable now. Let's scale and adjust the size of our text to make our layout a little bit more exciting. And the cool part starts now. Let's go to the toolbar, right click over the Width tool and select the Perker tool. Now click twice over the Perker tool to change some of the parameters and let's increase with the width and height by 500 pixels and press OK. Now it's time to have some fun. With our text selected and the Perker tool active, let's start designing an invisible line from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Make the line as organic as you wish and you should have a result more or less like this. If you don't like it, press Command Z and try again until you achieve something that makes you smile. This tool is loads of fun and it's a great way to experiment with distorted typography. And the last thing is to create a background for this typography experiment. So let's select the rectangle tool. Make a rectangle the same size as our artboard and apply a light grey color to it. And that's it. It's ready to export. I hope you enjoyed it. And I know it was a very quick tutorial, but I really like this distortion technique. That's why I wanted to share it with you. Let me know what you think and remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.